Hi there, this is Mega Supreme here with Transformers Toy Review. Um, I've got this in the background, although I'm not reviewing this. Uh, this is something I picked up from a friend. Um, I'm kind of using it to showcase these guys. So this is a set of uh, sweeps that I've done um, for someone. So this is the first piece of kind of commissioned work that I've done. So finally finished these guys off. Um, pretty pleased with them all together. There's a, you know, they're not perfect. There's probably a, still a few kind of rub spots on them. Um, but I think I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the paintwork overall on them. Kind of finished them all off uh, the other day. Uh, put a couple of Decepticon symbols on here, and one's on the top here as well. These have all been varnished as well, so I've used uh, one, two, just two colours on them. And then, so I've done uh, obviously several. So you can see what they all look like in, in jet mode. Um, I've got a few pictures as well, which I can post, uh, which I'll pop out as well, and uh, just give you an idea of what they look like with um, Cyclonus here. So the idea is that they're going to be a combiner for, the, for this guy here, um, combiner limbs for this guy here. And then a quick look underneath as to what they look like. Also, he's got his head showing there, which he, he wouldn't normally do. And then if we get them uh, transformed for you, I can have a look at them in uh, robot mode as well for you. And then what we'll do is we'll have a look at them in combined mode as well. Right, let's get them. Have so a look. here we are. We've got them all transformed, and this is what they look like alongside Cyclonus. So uh, really pleased with you know how they look alongside him in, in robot mode. Like I said, there's a, a few little rub marks and things on some of the figures but uh, nothing uh, too bad it's mainly to do with transformation so sometimes you get rub marks um, inside these bits in here or along the corner of this bit here where this then rubs in here but this one's not too bad and also where the feet come up here and they actually connect with this bit here so that one's uh, actually not too bad you can see a little bit where it's come through maybe if that'll focus You see a little bit where it's start to come through, but all in all, if you can close up this, I'm pretty pleased with the with the finish on him. And I've done them like done them all like that with the wings back like that, just to make him a little bit different. I think they look a bit more um, like a kind of scourge figure if you do that. Um, like I said on this one here, you've got again a similar thing. Uh, this one's probably got a little bit more paint rub on him. So you can see some little bits down here, a little bit on there, which can be touched up. And I have varnished him already, but um, it seems like some bits will just kind of come off. And this one on this side here as well, a little bit on there. So I might um, give that another go, maybe just put a little bit more paint on it and, and just quick spray varnish. I've also done the guns as well, which has given them a kind of a sheen finish to them, which makes them look a little bit cooler as well. I've done the same with the combiner parts as well. Just gives it a... Uh, better overall look I think but um, yeah that's um, all of the guys there uh, what we're going to do now um, I won't go through articulation or anything because uh, that's exactly the same we'll have a look at them in combined mode right let's have a look right, here we go we've got him in his combined mode so you can see what he looks like um, as you can see obviously all the, the limbs look exactly the same what I've done is I've actually put the guns at the top there uh, to kind of beef them up a little bit. Again, you can see a few places where you've got uh, a little bit of rub. Uh, what I may do is just paint those little bits again, maybe, um, and varnish them. I'm conscious of I don't want to put too much paint on them, kind of building up layers, which will cause more rub. Um, so we'll see what we do with that one. But, uh, you know, in terms of articulation and everything else, you know, he's exactly the same. Um, bring a close look down here, what is feet look like here as well so yeah I think it, it works really well uh, the only thing I was thinking is maybe whether or not the um, the hands need painting or sprayed or something like that to a different color maybe even purple to match the purple within here so they matches all or whether or not just to leave it as black uh, they've requested uh, uh, Cameron is the guy who's uh, has requested the faces stay the same so I'm not painting those so I've left those as they are, but uh, yeah, keen to see what people think, really. Um, like I said, or yeah, um, it goes all the way around here. Like this, and kind of 
obviously bend like this and kind of move it out like that. And leg, same like that. Got a nice bend here as well. I've brought that bit back there just to protect that. And he stands up, you know, nicely as well. You know, it's no different to the, um, to using your original ones on him really, in terms of, in terms of that, you know, he stands up quite nicely. Everything kind of pegs together quite well. Even the arms and stuff, they, they peg in nicely. Um, and I think the overall aesthetic looks really good. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, and I'll also be posting up uh, like a tutorial review as well soon on some other ones that I've been working on as well, just to show you the different steps that I went through in creating them. So let me know if that's something you're interested in. Cheers. Bye.